So I hope you've all recovered from the Optomus Prime review. This video, we're back to reselling. And I was due to release this over the weekend, but we've had such a busy one because it's the start of the month, so there's been a fair few sales. We were just up too late last night packing, so I couldn't edit it in time. But we also this weekend did a nice impromptu visit to the charity shop. And this time I have my camera with me. So I'm going to take you around the charity shop as I go just hunting through all the stuff in there. So enjoy. Hey guys, what's cracking? Ian, the master of pieces here. I'm a part-time eBay reseller, and what I do is I buy stuff for cheap and sell it on for more on eBay. Well, that's the plan anyway. Um, but in this video, it's the start of the month, so we have got a fair few sales to cover this weekend. We also had a real good trip to the charity shop, a lot of clothing this week, and I have my camera with me, so I've br I'm gonna bring you around the charity shop as I go around it too. But before we get onto that, I wanna just um, handle a couple of bits of business. Firstly, massive congratulations to Kieran, who's hit a thousand subscribers, Joe the Closet Geek, and John Luke the Reseller and White Boy, who both hit 2,000 subscribers. Guys, massive achievements. All three of you, I love your channel, and it's great to see you guys progressing so well. Secondly, I've had a not backlash, but the reception to my Optimus Prime video was a bit mixed. I've had some really nice comments from all of you guys um, about it, but I did lose a fair few subscribers. But doesn't bother me really if 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 the guys who've chose to unsubscribe just you know didn't like having a bit of a laugh or didn't like the banter you know that's up to them you know i can't change how they feel but i want to say thank you guys to for um, sticking around and supporting the channel and anyone new to the channel it would be great if you could click like and subscribe as well but for now let's go through what sold on thursday thursday's sales report and we sold three things today and the first sale we made was this vintage snow white and the seven dwarves block puzzle it is it is all wooden made for toddlers it's all in really good condition and what this comes with is loads of these paper inserts and this tells you what the different pictures are on the different side of the puzzle really nice product i picked this up from the charity shop for 50 pence last weekend and it is sold for £11 plus postage today. So it hasn't hung around long. You know, nice item, nice bit of profit. Great start to the day. And from that same charity shop haul, I picked up this Crazy Races game. And this one sold for £4 plus postage, which isn't particularly great. I had it up for £6, but someone offered me 4 and I accepted it. There's tons of these up on eBay. So I thought, look, let's just get it out of the garage. It's not going to really command much more, you know, four to six pounds. Let's let's just get it out, get get it gone. I paid what a pound pound fifty for it, so I haven't lost money. Not my best pickup in the world. Get it gone. And the last sale we had today was two Hot Wheels cars. Now I bundled these two together because they are both Tesla. And um, these ones sold for £10 plus postage. So that's got to be one of my best Hot Wheels car sales. I picked these up for a pound each. So yeah, £10 plus postage. Pretty solid for those. But the best thing that happened to me today, right, was I have been struggling to get rid of some of the old stock that I don't want. I've tried a few charity shops, but they're either not taken or they're full up and you've got to book in a slot and i just thought that i can't be bothered so what i did was leave it outside on on the footpath mark it up with big three signs on it and you know what a young family went through some of the stuff and took away a load of old Trackmaster and a load of ninja turtles teddies and they posted this lovely card through the letterbox and inside it it says thank you from harry and this has just made my day you know i am so so chuffed with that and you know what i'm it hasn't gone to the charity shop but the best thing it didn't go to the dump and a, a little boy called harry i hope is really enjoying all that stuff so what a great thursday so now let me take you to the charity shop and this week we're going to go to bernardo's up in thornhill 
Now the last haul I did there, it did pretty well. I've sold most of the stuff from it and I fancied another trip up there. The thing with this charity shop is you've got no phone signal there. So you can't go and check the sold listing price of any items. You've got to go with the instinct to think if you're going to make any profit. And I have watched back the footage that I did take in the charity shop. And there were a few things that I wished that I'd picked up. But I couldn't check the sold prices at the time. So if there's anything you see in the video that you would have picked up, please leave a comment below. Because the stuff in there doesn't sell too quick and I could always just drive back up there and go and pick it up. So enjoy and, and keep an eye out as well. This is an important announcement from Super Seekers HQ. The dastardly Baron von Borum is taking over the world with darkness and boredom. But fear not, you and your child can save the day by unlocking your inner superpowers. Use world saving activity packs to defeat Baron von Borum. Super Seeker badges as you go. Collect all ten and defeat Baron von Borden for good. There's no time to lose. Grab your cake and get your child ready to become a Super Seeker today. Visit superseekers.bernardos.org.uk forward slash super to unlock more information on your mission. This message will self-destruct in three seconds. Over and out.
So even though at the end I had a big pile of stuff that I was going to buy from the shop, I ended up putting some of it back. And I, I have spent £25, which is a nice amount to spend. And some of the other stuff I put back, I really wasn't sure how much profit I would make from it. So I didn't think that I'd take the risk with it. But still picked up a nice bundle of stuff. Hopefully a bit of profit in there. So the first thing I picked up was this Avengers backpack. Nice bold design on there. Avengers Marvel stuff is always popular. I have a lot of luck with backpacks. The last Avengers one I sold for was, you know, for about £10. So I paid a pound for this. And what I'm going to actually do is bundle this in with a Spider-Man backpack I've got up for sale. That one hasn't shifted at all. And that's because there is a bit of damage on it. So hopefully this one bundled with that one will get that sale through. I had to pick this one up. This is one that we're going to keep. We have got our very own WWE World Heavyweight Champion Wrestling Belt. This is for my son. And yeah, we are keeping that. Only paid a pound. No idea what it would sell for. Not interested because we're keeping it. And everything else then I bought was um, uh, cl clothing, which is unlike me. But just the brands they had in there were really great. You know, there wasn't much Primark. But yeah, some of the names were, were fantastic. So I took a punt on some of them. And the first shirt I bought was this Ralph Lauren polo. Uh, size large, quite a plain stripe on it, quite a discreet logo on the front there. This one I paid five pounds for, but it fits me. So I'm keeping this one as well. Um, again, haven't checked how much it would resell for, um, but it's a good quality shirt and I do need some new shirts. So that one's for me. We picked up another shirt, and this one I'm a little bit disappointed with. It's Ted Baker, so solid brand name, but yeah, I, th I thought I thought the pattern looked looked okay in the shop, but I got home, tried it on, and it's just not particularly me. So I don't think I'll be keeping it. And resale value, I reckon seven to ten pounds. Really, it's a size large, so solid size. Yeah, um, seven to ten. So perhaps not the biggest markup. I picked up one more shirt and it's this animal shirt here. Quite a nice summery shirt, size medium, short sleeve, you know, quite a quite a, a large orange check on it. Um, paid three pounds, hoping to get a tenner maybe. And that was it for the shirts. I then picked up a couple of jumpers. And the first one I picked up was this Lyle and Scott jumper. It's a size XXL, just a plain green jumper, no logos on it at all, and I paid £5 for it. There is one up on eBay at the minute as an auction, and it's on £10 at the minute with a few days to go. So I'm hoping to double my money with that one at least. And probably my favourite pickup of the day, and you've seen me wearing it in the video, it is this Ralph Lauren white zip up hoodie so you've got a big kind of polo logo there the thing that attracted me to this i love that check i love that tartan pattern in, in the hood i think that's really cool on the sleeves it's got some numbers on don't know what the numbers mean um but yeah it just adds to the design and i would keep this myself it fits across the shoulders it's just a bit short so i paid five pounds for this one hoping to maybe get 15 perhaps i haven't looked into this one too much and that was it guys so it's a lot of clothing i have looked back like i said at the video and there's a few bits i wish i picked up that emporio armani zip up hoodie i was i was in two minds it was six pounds but you know sole listings are pretty good but the condition was terrible there was a few um stitches or a few little holes in the hood it was a bit faded same with that ralph lauren polo shirt a bit faded i did like that osprey jumper wish i'd pick that one up um Going through the children's stuff, there was that Chelsea football kit. I took that to the till, but noticed that the um, logo on the front was peeling off. So, yeah, decided not to go with that one. There was that DVD um, game, that murder mystery game. Should have picked that one up. It was only a pound, selling for about £10 at, at, at the minute. And there was a few children's DVDs, some Disney ones that I just glossed over. Went through it too quick, um, so could have had those. And in the computer games, there was SingStar. And I like to buy those big SingStar bundles, wait till I get some microphones and sell them all on. So a few things I missed, but I'm pretty pleased with the stuff that I did pick up. Again, guys, if you notice some stuff that I should have picked up, please leave a comment below and I will be back in that shop. Right. Now we're going to go on to all the stuff that sold on this this weekend. It's the start of the month, so it's payday. So we've got a fair few sales to get through. 
So let's run through everything that's sold this weekend. And there's a fair bit to get through, so this is going to be like the generation game conveyor belt here. And the first sale we made was this Trackmaster James with two brake vans. And the only reason I put those two brake vans with this James is because they're red and he's red. And this one sold for £12 plus postage. I had it up for £16. Someone offered me £10 and I would have accepted it. But I needed James for my Optimus Prime video. So I ended up declining it. And the guy came back and offered me 12 So it worked out for everyone. So first sale, £12 for Trackmaster James. Going along the trains theme, we sold this Take Play Connor. And you can see the back of it is pretty scuffed. But even so, this Take Play Connor sold for £8 plus postage. And guys, Connor is a bit of a bolo. Whether it's Take Play or Trackmaster, he's one of the most valuable trains you can look out for. Next sale we made was a PS Vita game. And this one is called Unit 13. It's got the... Well, I was going to say manual. It's got kind of the cardboard sleeve which had a download code. I haven't tried it. Doubt it works. And the game, that sold for £10 plus postage. Next sale we made was part of the stock exchange. And this is a Wallace and Gromit toothbrush holder. It is one of the old ones. It is back from 89. And this one sold for £11 plus postage. So to those new to the channel, what I did was I picked up a load of double O gauge trains for about £400. And I valued them all. Um, it, it was split between trains and carriages. I've kept the carriages, but I valued the trains at about £500 and I swapped it for loads of random stock. This sale brings everything in the stock exchange to £700. So I've made more than what I would have made off those trains. So it looked like a pretty good deal. Next sale, we have got a Transformer. And let me just get him out the bag. This guy is Starscream. So there's Starscream there. He's, he's just a little miniature version and he comes with his own little rocket that turns into a throne. This is from Dark Side of the Moon, I think. I've got the instructions. And this mini, yeah, there we go, from Dark of the Moon. This one sold for £11 plus postage as well. Which is these, no, £12.50 plus postage. There's a lot to, lot to um, remember here, but Starscream went for £12.50 plus postage. Next sale we made was a Monsters High Doll, and she's just fallen on the floor, so I'll rescue her there. This one is called Draculaura. Let's get her out of the bag. There she is, Draculaura, and I included a handbag and a skateboard, but I also put in this little box here. Push a button. That didn't do anything, because you've got to turn it on. Push a button. How about that? It's like a little jewellery box. So enough of that. This Draculaura sold for £11 plus postage. Next up, we have got a bundle of Stranger Things books. Now, I picked this one up from Bernardo's Thornhill for 50 pence. I've had this one for sale for ages, and it's had a fair few views. No one's bitten on it. Bundling that one in, those sold for £6 plus postage. So chuff with that. And the final sale we had this weekend was these two Rollmaster guides. Now I picked these up as part of that big lot of role playing game manuals. I paid five pounds each. These sold for 14 pounds plus postage. These are picking up a little bit and I was thinking about it. I think perhaps because lockdown is easing up, people are allowed to visit each other. These role play playing games are very face to face. You've got to be in the same room. So perhaps people are back playing these type of games. So need these books. So. Yeah, they are starting to sell again, which is great. So to round up the sales, that is the end of the month. And that puts us in about £700 profit for this month, which is fantastic. I'm aiming for £500 uh, each month. So that gives me, you know, a bit more than that. So what I fancy doing is treating myself. So I'm going to pick some up nice in the week, which I will share with you. So I hope you enjoyed all the sales and that trip to the charity shop. If you could click that like and subscribe button, that would be fantastic because we're so close to a thousand. But you guys who have already subscribed, like I said at the start of the video, a massive thank you and a big thank you for sticking by me as well. Um, I really appreciate all the thumbs up you give and all the comments. I love reading them more, love responding. So yeah, thanks ever so much. 
and I'll catch up with you in the next video. Team Pieces! Thanks ever so much for watching the video and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. For those new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. I'll see you in the next one.